Hello YouTubers. Pro2 is here. Today I am going to share with you all. How I change my timing belt. This timing belt has 100,000 km service interval on it. And it's from Mitsubishi. In this box, we also got two oil seal. And a tensioner bearing. Also I will change my water pump. It came with two gasket. So, let's DIY. Before we start, don't forget your eye protector. First, loosen your nut that hold your left tire. Just loosen the nut and do not remove it yet. Take an object, and put it at your rear tire. Both of them. So, the vehicle don't move. And then, jack up your car. Put your car jack stand under your car. Put another jack under your oil sum engine to support it. Because, we will be remove the mounting engine. You can remove the tire. And put it under your car for extra protection. Behind this tire. There is 14mm and 19mm nut that hold the mounting engine. So. We must loosen the dryer nut so that we can loosen the nut behind it. Open these cover, so we can get work space. Better put back the screw. Unscrew the 14mm and 19mm bolt that holding the mounting engine. There's two bolt size 14mm, and one screw bolt size 14mm that holding the mounting engine. And now, you can pull out the engine mounting. There are three screw that hold the power steering pump. 14 millimeters. Take out the power steering belting. Open this two air con tensioner nut, 14 millimeters, and take out this air con belting. There are four screws size 10 mm that holding this timing belt casing. Latch something to the camshaft pulley so that it does not move. Then we can open the crank pulley below. Make sure it's is really stable and strong. Then you can open the crank pulley nut. Nut size 19 mm. Loose all the 10 mm crank pulley and water pump nut.
just loosen it only. Do not take it out yet. Twelve millimeters screw. Untighten the alternator nut. Last screw alternator. Take out the alternator belting. This manual will be our guide to do this job today. I download it from Mitsubishi website. It's free. If you guys want it. The link is below the video. Sharing is caring. Put a screwdriver in the camshaft pulley. So you can unscrew the 17mm nut. Now, you can open the timing belt casing, 10mm nut. Align the timing marks on the camshaft to the body engine. And, do the same with this crankshaft. Align the mark same with the body engine. Loosen this 12mm nut first. Place the screwdriver behind the tensioner, and push the tensioner up. Remove the timing belt. Unscrew both 12mm bolt. And you can remove the tensioner. Align crankshaft marking with the marking on the engine body. Align the camshaft marking with the marking on the engine body. There is 4 12mm bolt that holding the water pump. There are 3 bolt screws on this bracket, size 14mm. Remove the camshaft pulley, 17 mm. Remove the mounting bracket. Open the power steering bracket, then. We can pull the water pump out. Using a screwdriver, pull out the oil seal. We will install with the new one. Place the gasket glue on the water pump, I am using Pramatex Grey brand.
start reinstalling all components starting with water pump. Install back the power steering bracket. Torque for tensioner bearing, 24 newton meters, 17 foot, pounds. Torque for this bracket, 36 newton meters, 26 feet, pounds. Using cable tie, tied the timing belt to the camshaft spoke it. Loosen this 12mm nut first, and then, push the tensioner bearing forward, then tighten the 12mm nut earlier. Hold the tensioner and timing belt together by hand and give the belt a slight thumb pressure at a point level with tensioner center. Make sure that belt comes as deep as about one quarter of the width of the slot side tensioner bolt head. Torque specifications for water pump is 14 newton meters or 10 feet pounds. The belt must be turned two times by hand. This will make sure that the tension of this belting is even. Double check, marking correctly for crankshaft. Double check, marking correctly for camshaft. 4 screws for this cover belting. Size 10 mm. Water pump pulley. 4 screws here. 10 mm. Crankshaft pulley. Also 4 screw bolt here. 10 mm. Insert back the alternator belting. and air con belting. Install the engine mounting, 19mm and 14mm. One screw bolt and two bolt, 14mm. Install the power steering belting. Three screw that hold the power steering, 14 millimeters. Tighten the nut 17mm camshaft pulley. Now we can start the engine, check all the things that we did earlier. Are there any leak? Any weird sounds? If they have any leak, it must fall to the floor, right? So far, so good.
Okay, perfect, good job. The 1st of November 2020, marvelous. Use this information at your own risk. Any injury, damage, or loss that may result from improper use of any tools and equipment, or from the information contained in this video, the user must take responsibility. If you think this video helpful for you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. May the force be with you. Pro2DIY